my name is Barry Belmont. I am a senior member of the UNR Students for Liberty. Okay, and then I'm John Russell, I'm also a member of the UNR Students for Liberty. Welcome to Profiles in Activism. Show don't tell is the iron rule of good filmmaking, but it's also a good tactic for activism. Rather than tell people about what happens when government gives things out for free, John and Barry had them stand in a breadline. The idea was basically to try and illustrate an economic fallacy um, to as many people as possible. Um, we always try to come up with these little funny science experiments, like these economic experiments. And we came up with this one uh, to demonstrate the, the tragedy of the commons, the, the problem with all public goods. We could have brought in uh, excellent speakers. We could have really explained it quite clearly um, that public goods will always have, will never be optimal and they'll always have problems. And, and so what we did was we, uh, a particular Mexican restaurant we enjoy on campus uh, called Los Trojes uh, has the cheapest, uh, best food on campus. Worst food on campus. Don't listen to this guy. And, and so what we said was we were just going to give out $1,000 worth of free food to anyone who comes to get it. We weren't going to regulate it. We were just going to let the experiment play all by itself. And once we established that we wanted to do something with the tragedy of the commons, the first thing that we needed to really focus on was acquiring student government money. Um, I'd recommend anyone who, um, who is trying to get money from the student government become a part of the student government. And once we were able to acquire government money, uh, we were then simply able to pick a good, and we picked the uh, we picked delicious, uh, delicious dis Mexican, disgusting, food. disgusting Mexican food on our campus. We put a couple of flyers around. Uh, I, I created the flyer. I printed it out, put it just right around the area, gave it to a few professors. It promoted itself, and from there, we uh, Barry worked with the Mexican food people themselves. It's so simple, like. Um, it's literally just getting $913, giving it to a Mexican food restaurant, and letting them give out $913 of the food. I, I got out of class a little bit early to make sure that everything was, you know, set up and ready to go. And I got there about, I think it was 45 minutes before it started, and there was already a line just out the door. Yeah, at least um, 100 people at that point. Uh, just just waiting for Trojas. The people at the front had duffel bags ready to go. While John and Mike, the president at the time, were filming like everything actually happening in the restaurant, I would walk up and down uh, the line, and it was there was a lot of line, and I would I would make sure I was talking with people, and a lot of people were talking. Intellectually, some people got it, but really, what we were going for is for people to really feel how public goods work. Mm -hmm. The president of the club at the time, after the food we ran out. He goes, all right, there is no more food left. Everybody in line, you represent the shortage. They understood that when things were free, there will be bread lines. It's hard to like communicate that this is a thing called the tragedy of the commons, but they got the point. In that sense, the tragedy of the Trojas was really good. A lot of people now understand that when something's free, people will over, over consume. There will be shortages, you know, long lines. Long lines, not everyone will get it. In fact, most people won't get it. Um, and people actually, they, they understood that. For Bureau Crash, I'm Grant Babcock. Until next time, Freedom Fighters, never settle for anything less than the whole enchilada.